Hi, my name is James Taylor and I've written this course called Jazz and Improvised Piano. There it is. And um, anyway, some of my students um, have had problems with jazz rhythm, so I'm just going to give you a little tutorial on jazz rhythm now. What I'd like to do is to discuss what's the difference between making this sort of a sound. This, is, by the way, is using C blues scale that we discussed in the last uh, video. Um, this is the sound that many beginners make. That kind of thing. Um, and this is the sound that a more experienced jazz musician makes. And the question is, why is the second version so different? Well, in the first version, the emphasis on the notes is on the main beats. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. In the second version, the emphasis is on the ands, the notes between the beats. One and two and three and four. The difference is actually very striking, although people find this very hard to do. So I'm going to try to break this down into little steps. If we look at this, that's how a beginner would play it. Now then, if I accent the E flats and the G flats, I get this. playing that set of notes and I'm accenting the E flats and the G flats and playing them louder. Notice that I'm also making a point of joining the notes too. Always check that your notes are joined when you're doing this sort of a, a technique. Now the other thing now is to make sure that the other notes are quieter. So the C and the F are quieter, a lot quieter, than the E flats and the G flats. So this actually, although it sounds very straightforward and looks very straightforward, it's surprisingly difficult. So again, we're just playing these notes playing the E flat and the G flat loud and the C and the F I'm playing quietly and I'm making sure that they're all joined as well. So make sure that the on beat notes are quiet, the off beat notes are loud and make sure that they're all joined. Now having done this exercise we can come down the whole blues scale I'm accenting the B flats, the G flats, and the E flats. Again, the C is quite quiet, the G is quite quiet, and the F is quite quiet. So we can practice coming down here again accenting the B flats, the G flats and the E flats and making sure that, that they're all joined and which we can join to this. And then we can extend this to playing other riffs and ideas that we have and extending the idea freely, but always accenting the notes that are off the beat. Which gives us... A nice bluesy sound. 
Okay, so checklist then, make sure that the notes on the beat are quiet, the notes off the beat are loud, and keep it joined. I say keep it joined because a lot of students tend to break after the main beat and do that sort of thing. Keep it joined. Okay, I hope this has been helpful to you. Um, like I say, this is something that, that most students find very, very difficult indeed. So it will take a lot of work, but keep on working at it. Again, I've written quite a lot about this in my book that I hope will be of great help to you. Okay.